started writing songs a few years ago and then just been trying to find the right sound for a long time and then just met all these guys and now we're sort of just doing our first UK tour which is exciting. Um, I met them all, a lot of played in other bands and I poached them <laughs> uh, so I like to think it's a bit of a super group um, but they're literally all just good friends so it's nice because we all have a good time. Well, I played recorder first, and then uh, drum kit in the school orchestra, and then it was only when I uh, bought my first guitar, I went on the train to school, and there was a little guitar shop that I walked past, so I ended up buying one, and then just taught myself, and then just started writing little things when I was about 16 or 17, and moved to London when I was 18. When I first moved to London, I just listened to radio, like I thought any normal teenager, just listened to Radio 1 and things like that. And then it was only when I moved to London, I'd never heard of like Neil Young, Joni Mitchell. And I was like 18 or something, I'd never heard of all these artists. And it was only when I first moved and met people, they just handed me CDs and telling me like, to listen to different things. Um, and I think it just, just got more influenced by lots of things, but I don't know if there's one particular album. Um, probably be an accountant or something. <laughs> I like numbers. Uh, so probably that. I'm really bad at describing what songs are about because I almost think that they're sort of so self-explanatory. I don't want to give too much away because I quite like when you listen to songs and you're like, oh, it must be about this. Like you two, with or without you. I thought it was about love and now I found out it was about religion and I'm mortified. Um, so I don't really ever want to explain too much what it's about. I like people to have their own interpretations of what it could be. Of all the ones we play now in the set, it's probably one of the oldest, um, which I think is why we decided to record it, because it was the one um, after I started working with Björn and we were experimenting with different sounds and instruments. It was the one that we had a quite clear vision of how we wanted it to sound and be recorded. Um, so then when we did that, it's now giving us like quite a good template of how to follow with other songs. We have an album ready, we have enough songs. It's just working out what's the best way to record them and who should you know, be a part of it on the funding front and which step we should go now. I quite like, I love that we've self-released this first song and done it our own way and just sort of just made a bit of a stance saying, you know, this is how it is, this is, this is what it is. Um, and then I think the second single we're going to self-release as well, maybe in October, and then see if anyone picks up on it and if the right people do. Oh.